our platform, you know, because one thing that you always spoke about was um, connecting everybody, you know, you know, bridging the gaps with uh, basketball and all that, all that. So to have two guys from New York City that are doing their thing in New York City, like you said, Roman Perez is, is a legend and Mr. Talk Spicy is at Dykeman. We all know how... <laughs> How Dykeman gives it up. Yeah, Dykeman series. You know what I'm saying? So he has to maintain the energy as the MC. You know what I mean? Word. So to have these two guys, it's, it's a great, great look. But um, just wanted to plug the, the fact that we do have sponsorship packages available. We are looking for sponsors for the show. So please be sure to get in contact with us at Never Touch Your Town Radio. Talk to The Blast Podcast. Talk DM to me. me. You know what I mean? I will send you the packages. And uh, you let me know what you want to do, man. You know, I'll work with you. Just serious inquiries only, please. Please be sure to tap into the VOH app. Big things are going on with that. Right Right. now it's in a beta phase. But when it does take off officially, please be a part of that. You don't want to miss that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear excuses about, yo, I didn't know you guys had the app, this, that, the third team. Yo. What's good, Z? How you, brother? Chilling, man. Chilling. How you, bro? I'm good, bro. Everything good? I just wanted to go back to that sponsorship you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Yo, y'all got to get on that before the wheels, you know, mm-hmm. pick up and start rolling because... Let them know, bro. You know, the bigger the program gets, the higher the price. Yo, let them... That's why I tell so, them all the time. Serious inquiries only. I'm exactly. willing to work with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to beat y'all over the head. I know times is hard. This whole pandemic and all that is going down again. It looks like the second wave is coming. So, I am not trying to rip you off, trying to take any right. of your money like that, but this is a business and we are trying to maintain this business. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So, also, the VOH app, big things going on with that. Even if you are a part of it now, you are getting um, updates, you are getting emails saying, hey, check out our exclusive content. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and that's just the beta phase. So, imagine when it's full throttle. The VOH League app is on the way. Oh, shout out to Twenty Four Hour Baby. Big shout out to Twenty Four Hour Baby putting that together for us. I uh, can't wait until it unfolds and you guys get to see it. Um, we're sign up right now if you get a chance. If you're an individual player, if you if you just want to be a part of the league and you don't know what team you can fall on or want to be on, please make sure you sign up for, on the app and uh, do what you got to do, man. Sign up, register as a as a as a hooper. And uh, build your bio, man. Talk about where you hoop from, you know, all of that good stuff. Upload your picture. Please don't put a nickname because I'm going to delete your nickname. <laughs> you got to earn a nickname that's out a here. Fact. You feel me? You got to put the work in and earn a nickname out here. So right. that's the only thing I'll say. Put your name, you know, put your information, upload a fire pick, and, uh, you know, do what you got to do for now because... The real app is coming, man. Trust me, it is coming. It's and, on the way. and it sounds like it's going to be super interactive as well, because you like you, you said you can pick your favorite team. Yep. You know what I mean? You talk a little spicy in the uh, forums that are going to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So imagine, you know, the bullies playing against the family or something. Oh, man. So you get a chance to be right oh. in the forum. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> player versus player. Right. <laughs> you know? Right. That's that's gonna be in the, in the beginning. There will be no censorship, so yeah, of course, you know, of course, of course. Yeah, whatever goes on in there, yeah. whatever goes on, you know, what happens in the forum stays in the forum. Yes, yeah, that's, that's right. how we go. <laughs> that's you know? right. So I can't wait, man. I'm I'm really excited about the app launch, uh, 2021. So okay, it's gonna be a good look, man. That's Shout out agree. to 24 Hour Baby again. Thank you again, cause whew, this thing is moving faster than we thought, man. Hey, that's just last best. year, we were just in your studio and just talking you know, about Barnaville, yeah. trying to make things happen. And now right. look at where we at now, man. That's a fact. You that's know? a fact. Shout out to Z Bling too. Man. Nah, so man. That that's bag it. is on the way. Follow your company. Make sure you check out the M O R website. Talk to him. Check out those beautiful pieces. Talk to him. Quarantine castle Talk is out. Get your pieces now. In effect, man. M-O-R Apparel, US. Com. Yes, brother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we get, we're, getting a good, yeah, we're getting a good response, so thank you to everybody supporting. I just saw somebody in Arizona post it. I saw oh, somebody that's overseas awesome. post it. So okay. it's pretty dope that, uh, you know, people are rocking with it. And, you know, upload what you tag us and what you upload. And, um, you know, we're going to put you on the page. Um, you got, y'all got us out here looking right, man. So I'm, I'm very appreciative. Thank you for all the support. And we got more for y'all coming on the way. And uh, yeah, with the bag, yeah, app, same thing. Shout out to Twenty Four Hour Baby. About to get this app rocking. 
Okay. Um, website, everything gonna be good. Um, and that's that's gonna be under the uh, Collier Company. All under the Collier Company, bro. Yeah, man. So uh, okay, you moving. Things are things are things are building, and um, they're looking good, man. The quality's right. The the everything is looking right, man. I'm very happy, very satisfied. Every exactly how I pictured it. That that's how it came out. So that's what's up, bro. That's Amazing. what's up. Also, I have to make sure I plug the VOH Basketball YouTube channel. Um, that's where you also find some exclusive uh, content for uh, VOH Basketball. You can see the games there. You can mm -hmm. see the uh, three-on-three games that are going to be there. You also see some of the uh, 35 and up games, and I guess I think it was 4K quality. Yeah, 4K. It looked amazing. It so did, bro. It, it, shout out to Scaff on that. He yeah, had, big, big shout. Yeah, that's looking right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It, it looked amazing. The games were very, very easy to watch. Very easy to um, consume. So, I always tell people if they want to uh, get a good look at the OH basketball, go to the YouTube channel. Right. Um, it's conventional spelling: VOH basketball, straightforward, no tricky words wordplay or anything like that so please be sure to tap into that for sure um also the playlist the hashtag voh play hits play list we got right. a clean version which right. you're here playing right now in the background mm -hmm. and we also have the dirty version which is amazing mm -hmm. and there's like 200 songs over 200 songs yeah, it's on almost it, like so. over eight hours of music so right. like you can just put that on in the background of no matter what you're doing whether you're working out um cleaning cooking you know what i mean whatever the holidays are coming up so if you need a soundtrack, VOH Slay Hits Playlist. It's on Apple right. Music, it's on Spotify. Um, we're going to work on branching that out and getting it on every platform. Yeah, because so. right now you got it on Apple, the dirty version, not yeah, the clean yeah, version. I yeah. think you're working on getting the clean yeah, exactly. version on Apple, right? Exactly. And that's a good look because a lot of people have Apple phone, you know what I mean? Exactly. So a lot of people that tap in, they'll be like, yo, do you have that playlist on Apple? I'd be like, the dirty version. <laughs> Word. We have the <laughs> we are working on getting clean, but definitely tap right. in. Um, it's it's a great look for all the artists involved because they get a little change, although they deserve more off of it. They do get a little change off of it, so whatever we can do to support those guys, we're gonna do that. So please be sure to tap into the hashtag VOH Play Hits Playlist. Word and subscribe, subscribe to the YouTube channel, that VOH YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, follow everything we got going on, man, because. You know, it's a good way to just stay tuned with everything we got going on. We don't put the same thing everywhere, you know? So, oh, man. Oh, One of our special yeah. guests has arrived. Our, our, guest, <laughs> our guest has pulled up. Roman the Gift Perez has pulled up. It is Ooh. going down. It's, it's going down. This man's been all brother. around the world. Off oh, basketball, you have a great story, so I'm, I'm excited about yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I want to set your phone up. We got a spot right here for you if you want to go live yeah. on your joint. Come on, bro. Yeah, yeah so, Fred, what's going on, brother? Chilling, man. My man dropped me off some merch. You oh, already oh, know. Bro. Bruno Baez yeah. merch. You already know. You, you already know. I like this. I like this. Only. Nice. I well, like this. We're going to get into that. I we, like we this. We got a lot of questions for this brother, man. Um, mm -hmm. He's been involved with VOH for a while now, so... We got to get into questioning about that. Like, how did that whole thing come into fruition? It's, it's, it's a beautiful situation here. Never Tuck Your Town Radio. Thank you for tapping in. Um, yes, yes, the mic's on. You good, Roman? How, how are you, brother? You're good. Everything's good. Thank God. How you guys are doing? Good, man. We're just super happy that you came through, man. Glad that you came through and uh, are here to share your story. You know what I mean? My man Z got your phone set up. You're good to go. You're good. How are you, brother? Everything is good. Thank you guys for the invite on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. Thank, Thank you for pulling up, man. Fast. Thank you. Appreciate fast, you. Fast. Yo, listen, man. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know, man. Ro Roman's a good guy. He's not spicy, man. So it's going to be a real, <laughs> real nice interview. But Mr. Talk Spicy is on deck. And I'm all oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so we, got, we got the perfect blend. We yeah, got the yeah. perfect mix. We got to take it easy on Roman, you heard? We're going to have a sophisticated conversation with Roman. Absolutely. Uh, my first question to you, Roman, is when did you uh, fall in love with uh, basketball? Um, I fell in love with the game of basketball about the age of eight, nine years old. Um, that came from seeing the love of, from the people in my community mm -hmm. in Williamsburg mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Okay. okay. I'm a Brooklyn day love basketball. Building. Talk to them. And, um, you know, growing up around in the 90s, you had uh, influences in the NBA like Shaq, Facts. where he's mm -hmm. always on Nickelodeon. Yes, and, you know, things like that just made me fall in love with the game of basketball. I hear 
hear you, man. I hear you. Know, that's what's up, bro. What inspired you to uh, start your own league? Because Dudo Bias, that's that's your that's your brainchild. That's your baby right there, right? Yeah, well, mm-hmm. yeah. Talk to him. Boss, yeah. So Dodo, Dodo Baez is my father who passed away six years oh, ago. That's right. So his real name was Roman Perez, mm-hmm. but his street name was Dodo Baez. Mm-hmm. When I say street name, I don't mean like he was a hustler, none of that. Yeah. You know, typical Hispanics right. drinking, yeah. being in the street type yeah, of guy. Culture type shit, yeah. And um, that's yeah, cool, cool. I gotta donate to the job. Like, hey, we gotta, we gotta donate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no foul, no foul language. Maddie, Maddie, me too. Yeah, you skated <laughs> off. You too. <laughs> she, she skated off on us. Gotta watch your eyes. My bad, my bad. So um. Yeah, my father, before he passed away, um, he gave his heart to the Lord, our mm-hmm. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and he just changed his life, man, his last seven months of his life. So, Dudo Baez represents that if my dad could change, and he changed his lifestyle, 57 years old, for 56 years of his life, he was a man that was rebellious to his spirit and to God. If he could change, then there's hope in people, and that's what Dudo Baez represents, just providing opportunity for those that don't have it, um, which is the game that I love, which is basketball, and just providing a platform where people can, you know, excel at the game that they love as well. That's what's up. Yeah. Man. Nice, this guy's seasoned. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> you, you've done you've done this for TV before. Yeah, this guy is seasoned. <laughs> nah, that's, 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 that's a professional. That's powerful. Bro, bro. It's that, a pro right here. That it was named after your pops, bro. That's that's powerful, and and I can see why you're so passionate about it because it comes from the heart. So. I got I got to Word. got to give him credit for that. How's the feedback of with the league um, in general? The feedback is great. I mean, um, I always record the basketball games. Of course. Um, the reason why I do that is because you know guys that are home get an opportunity to have film. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. When you send your resume overseas, the first thing they say is, "Oh, do you have any recent film?" Mm-hmm. And that's what we provide the Little Buys League is a platform where you can showcase your game, you can showcase your skills. And not only that, just be active currently in the game of basketball. Mm. So that's the nice. main that's the main goal when it comes nice. to us as well. Yeah, man. That's dope that so, that you're willing to su- supply the footage for those guys. Because mm-hmm. a lot of them don't have that, and they're always looking for a way to get footage. So for you to mm-hmm. be like, well, that's what we do off the rip. That's powerful. Did you bro. have footage when you were growing up, Ruben? I've been filming myself since I was filming yourself. 11 years old. Mm. See, what's crazy wow. is the Smart. reason why I asked that is because uh, people need to, re- well, now is access to it, but before mm-hmm. the times you're talking about, times I'm talking about, there ain't no footage. No footage. You know what I mean? Like, there's no footage. There's exactly. literally no footage of Uber. Yeah, I mean, I, I had my footage, remember, I started playing basketball when I was 16, 17 years old. Mm. Real late, mm-hmm. um, because my neighborhood growing up was so dangerous. So my okay. parents didn't let me go mm-hmm. out. Got you. You know, I was always bullied by the older kids. Of course, of course. They saw my passion for the game of basketball. So instead, I just became a nerd. Mm-hmm. I became like a basketball card collector. Okay. Um, 2K, when Iverson was in Dreamcast. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. first yeah. one. Uh, the first the one. Yeah. 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 Collecting yeah. the yeah. Slack magazine. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so I became that. But, you know, I would borrow my mother's camera and still film myself, whether it's with a sock and a vase, um, going into my to my country, Dominican Republic, in the summertime. Shout out to Dio. Yeah, shout out to Dio. <laughs> you know, whatever it was, I always film myself because, you know, maybe I could be inspiration to my kids, mm-hmm. inspiration to those that don't have a chance, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So that's something that I keep now, make sure that every youth, now with technology, with the phones, yes. Always film yourself because at the end of the road, you never know if it might be a memory or something you could share with somebody. That's a fact. Or, or, mm-hmm. or, or a piece of inspiration, like you said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you, you never know what it might might do. You know what I mean? See, you had a question? I was going to say, how many, how, like, how have you grown? How many teams do you, got, do you have? How many guys are involved in the league? Um, in Dulo Buys, um, in the last three to four years, we've maybe provided an opportunity to over 400, 500 basketball players. It's amazing, huh? That's amazing. Right. And the, the pro level, youth level, Dominican Republic, we have provided, <laughs> whether it's workouts, whether whatever it is, maybe more than 500. That's, That's amazing. powerful, bro. That's that dope. is dope. Like, you've influenced a lot of people in your community. That's that a good look, bro. That is a good look. That's and location, tell me about that Rodney Park. 
Oh, we at Rodney Park. Mm-hmm. B. Um, that's Rodney. in Williamsburg. Right. B. 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 Rodney B. Park, yes. Yeah, yeah um, right now we're the two squat court, the only court in the world that's like have a space jam floor. Yeah. Um, the reason why they did that, we was fortunate Warner Brothers to pick us for the upcoming uh, Space Jam movie that's coming out next year. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, we don't have a lot of the team. Yo, uh, that's, uh, and we don't even got sound effects. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> crazy man. It's just, it's just coming out of noise. <laughs> that's crazy. That's, that's dope, man. Like, Word. Right, so speaking of movies, my bad to jump in like that, but since we're rolling, all right, Space Jam 2, you're on the court that is that is depicted in that movie, right? Now you're also in a movie, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I'm in um actually two movies that's coming out next mm. year with um Rest in Peace, Pop Smoke. Okay, dope. A movie yeah. with Pop Smoke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the movie comes out next year. I'm actually a basketball player, and Pop Smoke is a basketball player too in the movie. Okay. So I'm like, his, I'm like one of his teammates. Oh, bro, that's, that's so big, that's bro. Big. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro, that's amazing, bro. Man. bro, bro. It, was a, it was a blessing to be on set with him for like a month. That yeah. was in uh, um, September, October of last year. Oh, that's um, dope. With my boy Mike D and the cast, it was amazing, you know, unfortunately, you know, he's not here with us, but mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hopefully uh, this, yeah, yeah, hopefully this movie can definitely be a, a, a legacy of, of who he was off the music scene, you know, he was a basketball player in, in like, before music, yes, so, and he was that. nice, too, yeah, he was nice, nah, don't, I, so yeah, y'all gonna see the movie, he was nice, yeah, like, like he was he nice, handles, jump shot, yeah, for sure, for sure, so, <laughs> all right, much for that. if you would have gave him a nickname, what would his nickname? A uh, streetball basketball Yeah, nickname? if you would have a streetball nickname, what would it have been? Young Baron Davis. Ooh, Baron, Baron Davis? Davis. The whole dog. Baron, Baron yeah, Davis? Yeah, because on set, I was always, you know, he had the handle. Oh. And the jump shot. Baron Davis is different, bro. I mean, I'm from that that era. So I'm not ever. I'm not ever. I'm not ever. I'm not ever. I remember on set, it was, um, we was portraying like a dunk scene. And, um... That's who I saw right away. I'm like, yo, he reminds me of Baron Davis. Mm. So there was no right. special effects, no stunt man. He did his own dunks and stunts. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> NBAs, NBAs. <man. laughs> he, he, most of the stuff, most of the stuff he he did. That's so. what's up, that's, bro. That's what's yeah. up. That's, that's a great look, up, bro. Man. You know, you moving. You moving and around. The second man. movie. Yeah, so the movie. second movie just released right now with my brother, um, streetball legend Blackjack. Oh yes. Nice. Um, it's called the Jack, um, Blackjack, the Jackie Ryan story. Yes. Mm. Um. One of the best shooters I ever seen in my whole life. I shoot myself. Yeah, yeah. And it's like whenever I play with this guy, I lose my powers, my shooting powers. So, mm, but this right. guy's like a, a West Fork, New York City legend from Brooklyn. Yes. And it's been years. Justin Timberlake was gonna play him in the movie, but um, that didn't go through. So it took him maybe 10, 15 years, and finally the movie was released um last month. Oh wow, that's cool. And um, yeah, Bla- I was in DR playing. Just came back from winning my first ever championship. Okay. As a player, and then. A month later, Jack is like, hey, Roman, what's up? You want to be in my movie? And I'm like, of course. Yeah, why not? Like, yo, like, why not? And I'm, I'm one of the basketball players in the New Jersey Nets scene because he had a trial for the New Jersey Nets yeah. in 1989. Yeah, yeah. So just to get you wow, one, so one minute or two minutes, yeah, right. one minute or two minute of film time, man, that's, that's perfect, bro. Amazing. My man. wife and my daughter, they seem like, oh, my God. Even though we didn't get to see it on big screen because of COVID. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Yeah, that's all, man. It's still good. Film, do not, yeah. do not shortchange yourself, man. That is crazy. Yeah. Two films. Yeah, it's a blessing. Not one, two. It's a blessing. That is crazy, bro. That's dope, that's crazy. Not many people can say they've done that, so. That's a fact. And they've Shall added see. all the hooping. Like, all the hooping. Can you, because we don't really have enough time to get dig okay. deep into yeah, that, but, yeah. but just Give me the, the, the countries that you, you yes, touched. Yes, that was basketball. going to be my next question. Oh, I'm sorry about no, that. No, all good. All good. See, yeah, it's, your birth, it's your birthday, so you're going to give me a little birthday. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's your birthday, so we're giving you a little time thank off, you, player. Thank you, man. For real. I was really about to get into that. I was like, what was going to be your experiences like in DR and everywhere else you played at? Yeah, um, you know, I started playing ball when I was 17. Mm-hmm. It took me like about four to five years of training, like mm-hmm. eight, nine hours different gyms okay. in the cold in the parks mm. to get to the level where I wanted to be and I played my first year of college basketball in 2007 mm-hmm. like five years after I started training at the age of 23 I was a freshman in, in college okay other guys 17 18 then my second year I went transferred did a really good at New York City Tech first year I host those and then from then 
not college, playing in Rodney Park, that's when I got a look to play in Dominican Republic. Some okay. random dude was like, yo, you want to play in DR? And then from there, little by little, just doors started opening. I thank Streetball because mm. Streetball, I built my connections. Mm. People from Europe, thanks so, to Bob, so. Bobito Garcia, Streetball legend. Yes. Legend. Bob Love. Yes. Um, right. He put me on the circuit at, at a young age, 1920. And people were coming from Europe, streetballers, and they was always wanting to see meet Bobito. And things of the world, I was always with Bobito on those runs. And that's how the door just started right. opening. They was like, hey, he played pro in DR. And then they would be like, hey, you want to play pro in Spain? And it's just little by little. Talk about opportunities. And by the grace of God, so far I've been playing. I have played in 11 countries. Wow. Can you, that's crazy. Can you yeah. all of them? Yeah, yeah. 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 for sure. Um, Russia, Spain, France. Dominican Republic, Canada, here, United States, mm. um, <laughs> Ireland, United Kingdom, what? Cuba, Puerto Rico, um, Mexico. Oh, man. It's so crazy. everywhere, bro. It's hooked, by the, your, hooked your way around the world, huh? <laughs> by the grace of God, it's, it's just been unreal, you know? Like, That's what's up, bro. Man. That's, That's a blessing, man. You yeah. hooped all around the world, hooped your way into a movie. I'm sure. Short movie. I'm sure hooping has, you know, helped. Mend your family, bend your family, because basketball is just a different energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know how to explain it to people that don't hoop, but the energy of basketball, I don't know, it's just like a family bonding mm -hmm. kind of thing when you're with the right people, you know? Yeah, so right. that's indeed. That's dope, man. For real. Thank you. Thank you man. That's the truth, it. man. I'm, I'm going to ask you a quick little question to light up the moment. Who are your top five favorite basketball players? Mm. NBA? Doesn't matter. NBA streets. Okay, actually, let's go. Let's do two categories. NBA. But since you played in the streets, so yeah, yeah. Because I was like, you play street ball, so you know, you know people. So, so, so my favorite street ball players, definitely gonna say Bobito Garcia, Cool mm -hmm. Bob Love. Um, yeah, hold on, hold on. Man. He's like, hold on, come on. This is never, never tuck your town radio. You seen a thousand basketball players in the streets, and Barbito Garcia. Is that the top of your list? Top of my list because, you know, aside from being a competitor, he's always pushed me to be my best. Ooh. Mm. So he got sentimental value. So like oh, yeah. 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 so, yeah. like he kept it real with me. Like, yo, if I suck, I suck. Like, he will keep it real. Like, yo, you you got to, um, how you doing, sir? You got to step your game up. You know what I mean? So, and on the court, he was always my competitor. Okay. Like, I never wanted to be better than him, but I wanted to, um, oh, the mic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I never is better? Yeah. yeah so I, I never wanted to be better than him. I just wanted to show him that I'm good when it came to the game of basketball. So I say Bobito Garcia. Mm -hmm. Um Jack Black Jack Ryan. Mm -hmm. Again, for okay. me, like I'm going by people that I've played with. Um the best shooter I've ever seen in my life. Like I can yeah, say that in shooter. a game of no, he still can shoot. Oh, He's really? 50, 50, whatever. Like we was in Rodney Park this summer and he made still a, everybody came to the court from to anywhere? see him shoot from anywhere. Backboard, crazy. whatever. And, um, Black, and, it's wow. and it's 50. That's yeah, crazy. that's crazy. But, um, Black Jack Ryan, my boy Nacho Martin from Spain. Mm -hmm. um, one of the, probably the best street ball players in Spain. Okay. Um, my brother Bang Lee from Japan. This dude's tricks is amazing. Oh, um, I think I've seen him in one of your posts. Yeah, Bang Lee. And then um, I will give um, my laps... I say the bone collector. I played yeah, against yeah, Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I he played against him like three, four times. Oh, you went toe to toe with him? Not toe to toe, oh, but okay. like the times we went against each other, like my heart was beating. Like, yeah, yeah, you were like, okay. Yeah. You let's go. Yeah, yeah. And because of bone collector, I mastered my own signature, the okay. hesitation move yeah. because of him, yeah. which was not easy to get. Mm -hmm. It took years, but because of him, I got it. So those are my top five. Top okay. five NBA all time Kevin Garnett, number one. Kevin Garnett. Jeez. I mean, he, he, he talks about it yeah, in the story. Yeah, about it on, on, on our interview, but yeah. I, I wanted to see if there was consistency, but KG, number one, that's that's big, man. It's yeah, a lot of all heart right there. Right. Yeah, that's that's a different type of player to pick. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for his story, I would have not probably played basketball today. So oh. his story motivated me, knowing that it doesn't matter what age, you could be young and still make it. Like, that motivated me to say, you know what? You could be 40, you could be 35 and make it. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter right. what age. Like, when he went to the NBA, like, Jordan and everybody, they try to, like, underestimate him. Yes, and, they did. and he proved it, you know, making sure he dunk on everybody. Mm -hmm. and, you know, right. that's the guy, you know? Yeah, it's hard. Even in video games. Yeah. That type of heart is 
very, very different. Right? Yeah, yeah. And he played on a terrible Timberwolves team. Yeah. <laughs> they were terrible. Him and Marbury, But yeah. Steph was cool. Steph's from where? Brooklyn, too? Brooklyn. Yeah. What's going on, Brooklyn? Yo, y'all got a lot of hoopers in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of dogs come out of Brooklyn. Word. That's okay, so KG, who else? KG, of course, Michael Jordan. Of course. Okay. Um, LeBron James. Okay. 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 Um, y'all gonna be like, what? But Jason Petrovic. Yo. I, I, I had the opportunity to watch him play. You know, he was a shooter back in Jersey. I mean, that's I'm I'm just shocked. I'm not I'm not yeah, yeah. I'm not disappointed. Yeah, he's shocked that you, he mentioned that. Yeah, I'm just yeah. shocked at the name. You you name it soon. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, when you, when you, I remember that's Petrovich. a different that's a different type of player. People don't know. You gotta Google that. Yeah. When, you, when you can drop forty on the Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan and go like this to the greatest and be like, "Yo, yeah. come me and then shoot his yeah. face." Yeah, he was nasty for yeah. real. Like he, like he was one of the first dudes. <laughs> From overseas to, yeah, come, to come over here and ball out. Right. So just to hear him mention that name, I was like, "Who?" He didn't care nothing about no Michael Jordan at all. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> at all. That's why you gotta respect guys like that. Yeah. And it's funny the guys you name like KG. Mm-hmm. And you don't give a imagine KG coming straight to the league like, "Oh damn, I know Michael Jordan, I'm Kevin Garnett, I'm KG, man. man." You feel me? Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And my, my fifth player is Pistol Pete Maravich. Yes. I wish right. there was more footage of him. Man. Yeah. That's what I want. Once yeah. again. Yep. Not enough footage. footage. Yep, we were talking about Not that earlier. Footage, how, how, how you, the time, how right? you yeah. leave college, still leave college all time scoring, scoring, and there was no three point line. Yep, that's crazy. Yeah, actually, you know what's funny? A young kid, me and him were having a conversation. He was like, "Yo, them old players, I would have killed them. This, this, that." Okay. Uh, 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 Jerry West. I said, Jerry West. Out of all the names, I said, "Listen, boy, there was no <laughs> no three point line." So every bucket he got was a grown man bucket. bucket. Yep. You don't Earned want that type of punishment. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You, nope. you don't want that type of grown man punishment, man. It was man. a different game. I mean, Bro. even in the 90s, it was a different you feel game me? compared Bro. to now. So imagine before the 90s. Bro, Bro. imagine having no three-point line and just having to get your buckets the hard way. That's Every crazy. trip. Every trip. That's man, crazy. please. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> this guy good. can't even get seven in the rep. Give Jerry West Buck Eye. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, we gotta get to terms with reality, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> I well, love that Robert. Before I before the, I mentioned NBA and I mentioned Street, but for me the best player that I ever seen in my life oh. ever was a guy from my neighborhood. His name is Richard Bryant, aka Richie. Mm-hmm. This guy had Allen Iverson, Darren Williams, Baron Davis, Handles. In the early 2000s, where it wasn't existent, and an Allen Houston Ray Allen form shot from half court, my height, Crazy. dude was like 220, mm-hmm. throwing it, like doing everything, you know. I he, think I think every neighborhood, every has, has yeah, right. everybody. I think them. that should be a question. Like, who's the guy from, from your, your neighborhood, neighborhood that didn't yeah. make it? That was just dumb, nice. I think every neighborhood, because we can mention some someone like that, Smokey, absolutely, Boo. Like, those are guys we can mention that, yeah, like, boo. pulling up from yeah, half-court, um, dribbling, yeah, Steve, crazy. like, we got guys like that, too. So, yeah, to hear wow. you mention that, we were like, wow, I think every neighborhood got that. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That's what's up, man. I like to hear things like that. For sure. It's cool to talk about the NBA, but I like to hear stories like that. Because, yeah. you know, give those guys a shout-out, because those are the guys that, yeah, we watch the NBA guys, but realistically, we watch this guy first. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Like, like, this was our influence, right. and then the NBA. My, you know what I mean? My one time when I went to school in Utah, when I was 17, I didn't get to play on the team. I got cut. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys, I mean, you know it. I got cut from six to my first year in college. Okay. Sixth grade to, that's eight years of getting you cut. You really love the game because I you never, you right. never right. stop. Eight years of getting cut. Yeah, you you never eight stopped. years of no. But yeah. No, you can't play no, 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 no. <laughs> and then look. And then you go around the world and get in movies and all that. Create and your start own. your own league. And all those and coaches, your own. That's the coaches crazy. that cut me, they're my friends on social media. Hey, keep doing your thing. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's like, oh, hey, it's time yeah, buy the merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> buy the merch. Buy the merch. And but, you don't get no promo code either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no discount. But, but what, what's funny is that I was a whole year in Utah, and I still got access to work out with the team. And there was a player from my school that made it to the NBA. His name is Ronnie Price. Okay, He's yes. known for dunking on Carlos Boozer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made it. And I saw him for a whole year, like nine hours, weight room, practice, shooting. Like, he mm-hmm. made it. But I can say, like, for real, for real, that Richie from my hood was way better than him. And he made it to the NBA, 11 years in the NBA. Like, I've, when I guarded Ronnie Not Price, even, yeah. when I guarded Ronnie, it was like, with Richie, it was like, you have to send two people out to guard him, and it wasn't even enough. 
Mm. So it's like that's crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Richie, man. Yo, shout out to Richie, man. Words, man. That's I'm waiting for words. your comeback, bro. You still got it, man. You still got a couple more years left. How old is he? Right now, he's 37. We good. 35 oh, 35 35 minutes. Minutes. We, we pull, pull up. up. Yeah, yeah, man. Pull pull up. Up. We got some right. vets for him. Pull Actually, that would be dope. We could get some of our vets against against some other vets. We might have to do a... Man, we're going to talk about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. 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 You don't want to know it's still not his. Don't drop the gym. Don't spill the gym. For real. How does it feel to be like a part of New York City streetball culture? Feels great, man. Be a legend. Yeah. I mean, I don't you know, know legend, yeah. No, 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 We was talking about that before you pulled up, so you'll see right. the footage later. <laughs> but, brother, I don't know. We might have to tag a legendary status next to your name. But, oh, I mean, go ahead, though. I understand oh, your modesty. Not this guy. Now, I mean, it's unreal. You know, I walk in West 4th and they be like, oh, oh the mayor, you know. See? <laughs> exactly. But you're not a legend. Come on. Exactly. Or um, Rucker Park, you know, like, the love that I get there is unreal. You know, despite now, Dudo Bai's team is in Rucker Park mm. for the last two seasons. Nice it's, dope. it's an honor. I mean, we, we haven't been a winning team the last two years. Just to be there. Bro. Just to be right. there. Just to get on the stage. Just to be there, man. Rucker Park there. is Rucker Park. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Rodney Park, my core, you know. I'm just grateful that I can still play the game of basketball. I'm 35. Mm. I'm going to be 35 next week. Okay. But I just, uh -oh. I just... So we got another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, uh -oh. man. It's all in the 35 and up. That might be uh -oh. scary. Yeah. Oh, man. He's going to be looking for blood. We know that. I told, I told one of my Dominican friends, they were talking about, yo, yeah, the 35 and up. And I'm like, bro, what's up? Like, what